how we get toys today! <laughs> we do. <laughs> hey, pro- <laughs> Hey, pro tips for Perez. Tanel and Sierra, both chest level down, paraplegics. We have our 19th day today out of 30 yoga, stretching, movement, journey Sierra has taken us on so graciously. <laughs> She's just about ready to kill me, I think. <laughs> Not yet. Her just body, string like me it. with elastic bands. Today's session, number 19, we have props. What do we have? Uh, some kind of rubber band. It doesn't have to be a rubber band, though. I have also, like, a looped band. You can also use a towel, a dowel, a sweater, a blanket, like anything really. Okay. But this this works best. But yeah, grab whatever you can because it's going behind us and we're gonna be <laughs> pulling on it. Sure. <laughs> Twenty minute row yesterday and what a two hour jaunt pushing wheelchairs. It today. was mild. It was mild jaunt. Oh, so it. <laughs> Anyways, is that... That's it. Okay. For... Yeah. But also, you don't do 19 anymore. You, like, don't do the whole... 19. Is it because you ran out of fingers? <laughs> okay. No, um, I ran out of energy because I was dancing before. Yeah, exactly. Um, do you want to pick a breathing technique? Uh, We like to be like about choice here, so oh, I don't know, is there a triangle? There's all sorts of other shapes. Yeah, we can do a triangle. Because you got the pyramids a triangle, I understand that, but like triangle three? Three? Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> so we make plans around here. Alright, so we're sitting today. Tanel did not mention that part, but you can be on the floor in your bed, cross legged, whatever you want to do. Otherwise, get comfortable. We are going to close our eyes for this and envision that triangle that Janelle wants to use today. So we'll do an inhale of three, an exhale for three, and then a hold for three. So inhale, two, three, exhale, two, three, hold for three, inhale, exhale, hold. Inhale, exhale, hold, you go at your own pace now, really trying to imagine that triangle, kind of like the hand one we did, really thinking about where our breath is going, sitting up nice and tall. Taking those shoulders away from the ears. We'll do one more in breath here. Exhale. And then from there, we'll go into some pec massage. So releasing the left arm and shoulder, taking your right hand or the palm. <laughs> if you hear the sound effects, pushing in. If you have some breast tissue, you're going to have to dig a little deeper and further around. Unfortunately, not concerned over here. <laughs> Finding something tender. Maybe focusing there and breathing through that. Maybe grabbing a tennis ball or a cross ball. It feels like guitar strings. Mm hmm. Put a cup there. <laughs> and then from there, we're gonna come up to the top of the shoulder, finding something tender. Maybe a mountain guitar string, whatever it is. And then we're going to tilt our head to the right, bringing that ear to the right shoulder, holding onto that spot and then coming back up. Maybe finding a new spot, maybe pushing a little harder and then pulling away. 
they're just lengthening. Muscles like to be short, so we're doing the opposite. Especially our neck. Especially when you grow. <laughs> As Tanel is learning. My fatigue is like in my forearms and my hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all you're using all day. Then the rower. Okay, right side. That's literally all we use all day long. And I wonder why you wake up with that numb hand. Yeah. And drop things all day long. <laughs> FYI, for those of you who drop stuff and you think you're becoming klutzy, probably because your chest, your forearms, and your biceps are really tight. Mm -hmm. If you find somebody to properly work on you, you might find your dexterity comes back. <laughs> I thought I was getting old. I <laughs> Starting mean, to drop stuff. <laughs> it's probably that too. <sighs> yeah, right side's worse. I'm going to breathe through that. And then when you're ready, we'll go up to the shoulder. Let me give you a tennis ball layer. <laughs> Finding a spot, tilting that head to the left, and then coming back up, pushing on a spot, lengthening down to the left, making sure your shoulders are nice and relaxed. Look up and then tuck the chin in and go down. Coming back to center on your exhale and going left. And right. Go again. Up. Oh. Tucking the chin in and going down. As we go left and right. One more time. Oh. It's a good thing we're some of the people that need this the most because it's easier to do all the time. Still getting the gym in and going down. Yep. It's funny when I do lots of hikes, my neck hurts the most. Left. yourself with your face. <laughs> yeah, the quad it's neck. Wrong. The quad neck. Oh, I know. It's a thing. <laughs> I should have no excuse. Okay, shoulder shrugs. We're going to do our box. So up, then rolling the shoulders back, down, and then forwards, drawing that box up, back. This is hard today. Down, forwards. Up. I'm ready to breathe. Forwards. We'll go up. Now let's go down from here. And then back. And up again. Really emphasizing. Emphasis. No. <laughs> emphasizing. <laughs> Words are hard today. <laughs> emphasizing on the back. So when we come here, we're going back and resetting. Here we go. Oh, my hips are just tight. Hips off. don't lie. Okay, yeah. we'll do one more. And then we're going to do our shoulder taps. So, one arm. Over. Looking over that left shoulder. I'm not being very descriptive. One arm and over. <laughs> Left really arm. Try. <laughs> to the right shoulder. Twisting at the belly button. Looking over the right shoulder. That's nice. 
Thanks. Right arm. Totally understand what I'm doing now. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Because we do it so much, and then I'm like, just do this. Follow me. Twisting Close at the belly. Eyes, now listen. Remembering to breathe. Being gentle. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> okay, it's remember? We're gonna twist at the belly button again. Left hand is going back. Okay, my arm is going forward. Twist the belly button show off. Hardly. It's like little. Very little. It is like very little. And then twist. Yeah, like that. And then inhale. Exhale, switching. Yeah, once you get the motion, then it's okay. Kind of. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep my shoulders in the place. Vision went all blurry. Go slow. Your body's like, um, we're done. <laughs> and last side. Good. Sitting up nice and tall. Do one big breath. I was just, we grab whatever you are using. Is it really this so, bad. so grab whatever you're using, towel, dowel, strap. Um, and it's going behind us. So we'll take right arm above, left arm below, grabbing whatever you have. Trying to get your hands as close as possible, which for me, oh my god, long arms over here. I can grab my fingers. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna try and pull that band apart and then bring your hands in closer. So when you're pulling, you're gonna hold for about three to five seconds and then you're gonna try and get your hands closer. Long arms over here. Yeah, my hair's in it. So obviously if you're using something like a dowel or a towel, it would be a lot more difficult. So this helps with the band to get a little more range. Because someone like me, my hands are not together. Um, I'm going to go backwards so you can stay that way. And then we're going to switch sides. What? So left arm is taking the band over top. This is the one that don't touch. <laughs> yeah, but wait until you see mine. So left arm is above, right arm is down below, grabbing onto whatever you're holding. And we're gonna grab on and pull apart. Holding here, sitting up nice and tall. And then trying to bring your hands in closer, which for me doesn't really happen. Muscle doesn't stretch. <laughs> Holding here, trying to pull that band, towel, whatever you're using, and then bring your hands very close. Sitting up. Yep, that's about as far as I can go. <laughs> One more big inhale. And then exhale, releasing nice and slow. Yeah, that one's probably the worst one for me. Doesn't actually work. So we've done different ones. Remember the dowel one we did? Yes. The pushing? Yeah. That's a good one to start, and then this is more advanced. Gotcha. Okay, we can set those aside. And we're gonna do some of our lat stretches, so tucking the chin in, and then going to the right armpit. Maybe using your right hand, relaxing the left shoulder. My pom-poms in the way. <laughs> Big inhale. What are you gonna sleep on me? <laughs> you might wanna see what's under this too. Maybe getting a little closer. 
sir. Good inhale, easy exhale, and switch sides. Remember to tuck that chin, relax the right shoulder. Inhaling, maybe getting a little more stretch. As we take one more breath and come back up. All right. Well, we can finish off with that back stretch, but do you want to do your spiel? The back stretch, lying forward? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, as I'm my hardware screen today. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you everybody for joining us on day 19 of our movement journey. You listened to me groan through all my aches and pains I've acquired over the last two days. So thank you for that. Thank you, Sierra, for another great day. And hit that thumbs up button if you want to continue to do this. Subscribe, the little bell. We'll be coming at you for the next 11 days. Seated Shavasana, but I'm not going all the way to the floor because I might not get back up. <laughs> Truth. We're down here thinking about that triangle again. We feel the breath through our spine, sinking into the ground wherever you are. Down with yourself like this more than once a day isn't a bad idea. You know what we should have done today? Let's put our feet on the ground. That would have been idea. Yeah, two hour hike and our feet didn't hit the ground once. Mm -hmm.